Well, here I am again driving Granny, the sheep mobile. And this morning, I'm feeling philosophical. As you can probably tell from my Facebook post. But you know, this morning it dawned on me that sheep farming, or sheep husbandry, or sheep ranching, or whatever you want to call it, has done more for me than for anyone else. And it also dawned on me that that may be what God intended. Because it has dawned on me in recent years that <clears throat> what's wrong with the world is not them out there, those people out in the world. The problem is me. I'm the problem with the world. And God wants to fix me. Yes, he wants to fix them, but he doesn't want me to fix them. He wants me to fix me. And sheep farming has really forced me to fix myself. It's really an interesting thing. It's slow. It's very slow. It's a year-to-year -year thing. Every year I fix something new in my, in my character, some new character flaw. Um, in this year... What I have, have learned, there's many things, but one thing I've learned is to slow down. Be still. Be still and know that I am God, says the Bible. And Jesus said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. So many of us in our world are running around like chickens with our heads cut off. We never have time to even go to the bathroom. My, my ex-wife used to joke that she would go to the bathroom just to get some thinking time. But that's how our lives are in this crazy Canian world. I call it Canian because it's based on Father Cain, you know, Abel's brother that killed Abel. Anyway, uh, God has really taught me to slow down and get in sync with his nature. Some people call it Mother Nature. That's fine, but it's really God's nature. God created it. And God talks a lot about sheep in the Bible. And he used sheep people extensively in his work. Moses was a shepherd. Abel was a shepherd. Abraham, Isaac, Jeff, now Jacob were all shepherds. They left really nice houses in big fancy cities to live in tents and become shepherds. Why? Why is that? Why did God pick King David? Little little David. Little David, play on your heart. Why did God pick him over his much taller, stronger, handsomer brothers? Well, I bet it had a lot to do with the things he had learned as a sheep farmer in his father's fields. In fact, I think there's, there's something in Scripture about that. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. Uh, it's been a, an interesting year. <clears throat> it was a very hard year over the winter because we had a blizzard and I did not know what I was going to do. There were times this past year, Hans Anderson can attest, last summer and this winter that I wanted to quit. Uh, my friend Joe Bodine will attest that as well. Both of those guys have sustained me. It's almost like they were the two guys, was it Aaron and her, that held up Moses' arms. Now I'm not claiming to be as influential as Moses. But, you know, the same way, um, those two guys, Hans and Joe, held up my arms over this winter and encouraged me. It was hard this winter. I don't think it will be nearly as hard this winter because of everything I've learned. But it was this winter, and God taught me a lot. So I don't know where that leaves us, but I just wanted to share these philosophical musings with you. That sheep farming has really helped me. It's it's really changed me, and I and I think that that's what God intended. I think God wanted me to be a sheep farmer to change me because God changes the world by changing me, not by me changing other people. Does that make sense? Y'all have a great day.